Saturday morning. It's not even 6 a.m. Um, I'm up. I'm a little reader some comics, and uh, I started off with this one. I thought it was a good, a good start to the day. A Walk Through Hell by Garth Ennis, and this is issue five. Just a quick overview, I don't want to give away too much. Uh, first of all, I want to just say that this is one of the best um, psychological horror stories I've read. If you um, like horror and you like stories with a bit of a twist that don't really give away too much, um, then this, you can't go wrong with this comic. So basically we've got uh, two FBI agents that have been chasing down a, a pedophile. And um, in the first first issue, they, they ended up in a, a warehouse uh, with issues with their memory. Can't, they don't know exactly how they got there or what they did. But what they did realize is that all of a sudden they've got no pulse and they're trapped. And there's a lot of weird shit going on in this uh, warehouse, such as this guy here that they bumped into. Um, I think he's one of their... Um, he worked on the force with them at some point and in the comic in your, one of the earlier issues they bump into him and he's repeatedly trying to shoot himself in the head and uh, it's not working. To be honest with you I think at this point here you're going to be in quite a lot of pain if um, you know, the top part of your head is just gone. I'd have probably tried a different method by now. You know, I think if you're shooting yourself in the head and all you're doing is really just getting like half with a little bit of blood just dribbling out there. I'd probably try something a bit more dramatic. Um, maybe like putting all the bullets in my mouth and then shooting the bullets and seeing that if that like explodes or something. But, but that's just me. These guys are pretty awesome. Imagine being chased by a little bit of shoulders. Yeah, I think I've shit myself. So, it's really difficult to talk about this comic without, I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but all I, I will say is that if you're a fan of Garth Ennis, you can, you've got to jump on this one. Um, I say jump on it, we're on issue five now, so perhaps it's a little bit late, but certainly pick up the, uh, the graphic when it comes out. 